DJI's new Mavic Air 2 does look like an almighty bit of kit, and I genuinely can't wait to get my hands on it. But whilst the specs look great, I can't help but feel a little bit ripped off by DJI this time, and that is what I'm talking about today. So, very quick video today, as I know many of us are still weighing up the pros and cons of pressing the buy button on DJI's newest drone. Uh, well, as I said, going through the specs, it looks like it's gonna be a fantastic bit of kit. I can't wait to put it through its paces. But there are two huge clouds on my horizon with this particular drone, and that's why I'm feeling a little bit miffed, to say the least. I probably should have smelt a bit of a rat when DJI moved their typical launch time, which is usually in the mornings in the USA and therefore the afternoons in Europe. This time they moved it to 9.30 Eastern Daylight Savings Time in the USA, which put the launch time firmly in the middle of the night between 2.30 and 4.30 a.m. for the 750 million people in Europe. Um, that's pretty much saying to me, we're not really worrying about the European launch of this drone. And this is probably why. Because the first is the news that the Mavic Air 2s being shipped anywhere outside of North America are missing a key safety feature that DJI promised would be in all new 250 gram plus drones after, sold after January 2020. This is the Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast Technology, or ADSB. And DJI made a big thing about this feature when they announced it, as you can see here in their promotional video. So to be clear, DJI are talking about ADS-B in, which is basically listening for other aircraft that are transmitting with their own ADS-B out transponders. It's not a legal requirement, but it's a mighty nice addition to see if there's any planes or helicopters flying anywhere near you. But as of now, all non-USA Mavic Air 2s will not have the hardware, and being hardware, they will never get this functionality by any firmware update. No mention of this missing functionality on the release details, so to me, it was a little bit cheeky. But the other bigger issue I have is a more legal issue under the new EASA rules that are coming into force across Europe and the UK towards the end of this year, 2020. It was going to be July 2020, but as of today, it's been put back to not before the 1st of November. But either way, the new rules are coming, and they rely on a set of new certification categories which apply to the class of drone being certified. And the transition period for flying existing unclassified drones is only two years, after which those drones are classified as a legacy unmanned aircraft, which will be restricted to flying the furthest away from anyone and anything, namely the A3 open category that stipulates flights must be at least 150 metres horizontally from any commercial, residential or recreational area, and that no uninvolved people can be anywhere near the area of flight. This is a huge new restriction and would make it impossible to take the sort of picture that you can see behind me now. And this is my second point of feeling a bit ripped off here. DJI could have certified the Mavic Air as a C1 or C2 model, but didn't. Now, a colleague on the uh, Grey Arrows UK Drone Forum actually asked DJI late last year and actually got a response from them on this, where DJI stated that they're confident that many existing DJI products will be able to obtain the necessary CE markings and so be used after the transition period. Sadly, the UK CAA, Civil Aviation Authority, is very clear on this point, stating that existing models will not be able to be retrospectively certified. And that is my beef with DJI. Not only could they have got this certified, they're actually giving out a bit of misinformation and false hope that existing drones can be retrospectively certified. So, lots of techie stuff there. What does that actually mean to most people? Well, put simply, any existing drone today or that you buy today uh, that isn't certified will become a legacy drone throughout the whole of Europe after the transition period uh, concludes sometime in 2022. This will greatly restrict where you can fly to basically 150 meters uh, horizontal distance from any commercial, residential, or recreational area. And crucially, you, can't, you won't be able to have any uninvolved people within 50 meters of your flight area. You could get around that by taking some additional training known as the Certificate of Competency, or CFC, in the UK. But for the majority that won't, you'll simply be restricted to basically flying in open countryside or open coastline. So all of that is because the new Mavic Air 2 is not currently certified. Um, so should you buy the new Mavic Air 2 now or wait?
Well, that's your, kind of your call. To be honest, what's uh, known today may well change tomorrow. The new ESA rules have already been pushed back from the 1st of July to not before the 1st of November. And whilst their past track record doesn't necessarily fill me with too much optimism, common sense may prevail and allow retrospective certification of known popular models of drone that easily fulfill the class of that drone. We can but hope. Anyway, look, I've still got mine on order. I will be putting it through its paces as soon as I get it. Hopefully today's video is going to give you a fuller picture and you'll be able to make your mind up accordingly. As ever, if you like this stuff, give me a little thumbs up. If you really like this stuff, hit the old sub button and uh, ding the dong to get notified every time I put something out. Either way, until next time, have fun, stay safe, stay sane, happy flying. Cheers.